guys, so today I'm doing a cleaning thing that I found on Pinterest, and I'll show you what this looks like. So, this is my stove before. It's pretty grimy and disgusting looking. It's a really old stove. But I found this cleaning thing on Pinterest. But you can't see that one's kind of dark. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. We're going to see how this works out together to see how it's going to be. But it said what you do is you take a about a quarter cup of ammonia, place it in a Ziploc bag with your um, grates and the fumes you let it set for at least 12 hours and then they should just wipe right off the fumes should break it down um, I went ahead and marked my Ziploc bags this one has an FR for front right so I'm that way I can just keep an eye on it and we'll see how it goes um, so let's go ahead and do it I'm just gonna eyeball the ammonia I'm actually going to go ahead and put the all the grates in the bags first. I'm just picking the whole thing up. I got all three pieces of it to stick in the bag. Hopefully it'll fit. Might have to do two bags. zip shut. goal isn't to soak them in it, you just need the fumes from the ammonia. Alright. And you want to make sure that you use um, freezer bags because they're a little bit thicker. Just be on the safe side. probably putting too much in, but hey. Oh well. Make sure you wash your hands when you're done doing this. Alright, so I just put the baggies in my sink, and then I'm putting my dish rack over it. Um, you could just leave it on your, you could just leave it on your counter if you wanted. Um, I don't trust my cat to not get up here. I don't want her on the counters, but hey. So, just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, if you have any cleaning tips on how you get your kitchen cleaned, let me know in the comments down below. And I will show you the rest of this tomorrow. It's about 8.30 at night right now. So, I'm not really sure what time. I'm gonna, I want to let them soak as long as I can. So, I will let you guys know how it works. Hey guys, I'm getting ready to clean um, my grate. I'll show you what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it in there or not, but... You can see like it's starting to liquefy all the gunk that was built up on them. So hopefully that's a good sign. I am going to wear some everyday cleaning latex gloves. Just to 
be on the safe side. I don't want my hands getting all nasty. in at about 8 30 9 o'clock last night and it's about 11 30 now so it's really gross i don't know if you guys can see it or not but the ammonia is all icky looking so. fingers crossed wish me luck let's see how this goes it is however it's really hard to open a ziploc bag with rubber gloves on open the window because that is a strong smell. It is freaking cold out. Maybe not that much. And then I'm just going to leave the ammonia in the bags and throw it away. You have to put a little bit of elbow grease into it, but these are also very old and I'm assuming have never been really cleaned very well. But it is getting a lot off of it. I'm kind of amazed at how much it's getting off. Maybe if I would have let them soak a bit a little bit longer. I don't know. But I need my stove back, so. bubbled up all of the grease and grime that's been on this. And it just wipes right off. So this is awesome. up it works really well I'm probably gonna have to do these a second time maybe in like another month I'll do it again but I'm super impressed I've never been able to get that stuff off of there so this Pinterest pin definitely works all right I will talk to you guys next time and I will insert a clip at the end of what the stove looks like when it's all done all right you guys have a great day and I will talk to you next time bye